Hey, Colby. How's it going? How are you, man? Good to see you. How are you? Thanks for having me, man. You're fighting uh, Dos Anjos in Chicago. It's the co-main event. It's an amazing card. Uh, the Chicago card is fucking phenomenal. It's going to be a show. It's going to be a spectacle, you know? That's what everybody's paying top dollar for me. You know, I'm the bad guy. I'm, I'm the super villain, but this is real life. Super villains and bad guys win in real life. Is there anything you've done <laughs> that you're like, that was, uh, that was one step too far? No, no, you know, I know where the line's at. I don't ever cross the line. I step right up to it. I'll put my toes right on the line, but I don't ever cross that line. So. How do your Brazilian teammates uh, or, or people you train with, how do they respond to it? Like, do, have you had to talk to them and go, look, you know, this is just what it is. I'm... Yeah, you know, the guys in the gym, they really took it personal. You know, I kind of got cut off from the Brazilians and American top team in the gym, and they don't train with me anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> but it is what you it try is. try to tell them, hey, guys, I mean, you're not filthy animals just because I said it. You know, we can still train together. Yeah, you know, in South Florida, there's a lot of Brazilians on the beaches, and, and I could definitely see the anger in their eyes, but they know those filthy animals can't touch me. <laughs> I see. That was fun, man. Uh, thanks, man. That's awesome. Colby Covington, who is in studio with us right now. Watching the first fight, Kenny Florian said how humble you were and hardworking you are. Hardworking is clearer than ever. The <laughs> humble part, I think, has changed over time. I'm on the Ric Flair diet, man. Limousines, fast cars, <laughs> lifting weights, and fucking girls. <laughs> were you able to take him down with, with ease like everyone else? Yeah, I'll be able to do whatever I want to do to Ralphie Dos Nachos, you know. He, he was getting melted by featherweights, so, you know, he's he's not going to have a chance when he gets teamed up against uh, Raw American Steel and Twisted Sex Appeal. I think I, I enjoy video games so much because what I do is very stressful, you know, and, and I like escaping that. I like switching off, doing something different. Who attempted to light the dragon fires and failed. Oh, no. Not worrying about having to train and go through all the hardship of training and fighting and just, you know, create a character that is literally only limited by my imagination. Have mercy on ourselves! I've played all the fallouts. You know, I've played probably thousands of hours in, across the games. Elder Scrolls Online or any other sort of game. There's just so much replayability in them and there's so many different builds and designs and, and ways of playing the game and that, that open sandbox, free decision, every decision has consequences sort of thing. It's just, it's my jam, you know, that's what I really like doing. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Look on TV time. Oh, what the time to muscle? They know. Samuel Flair. Gotta represent. We should see if we can we can see it from the street. Welcome to my career. <laughs> Welcome to my career. I love having my family, you know, or, or you know, it's always better to have my brothers here. I love having them here. Chicago! I think traveling is the best thing you could ever do. It opens their eyes. And especially America. America's gonna open their eyes a lot, for sure. Oh, I've seen these in the movies. How do you do, you already do? Just put the money in, then you get the paper out. You're all visiting, huh? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'll get the broccoli and the octopus. If I could eat, I would get one of each. <laughs> Octopus and greens. It's nice. Very nice. I would have loved to be eating the, <laughs> the ass out of a fucking pig or something. <laughs> I don't know why people always do this. Just fucking eat the food. We're in America. Let me cut it. What? No, no. Yeah, yeah. You fucking you want to record or you want me to cut? Happy birthday. Oh. Cheese. It's cheese, chop chip, and some of these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. 
anywhere? Everywhere except the faces. I'm fighting Holly Holm, uh, the former UFC Bantamweight champion, and uh, I'm excited. You know, I'm ready. I'm ready to finally, you know, get to the UFC where, you know, I belong. Yay! Thank you. This is your first time with us, so we're going to go through everything. For me, it's it's not about like being too excited or first time jitters. It's it's I wasn't able to to do this when I was supposed to, but you know we're here now. Look how sick that is! And we're ready. Like this is where I've I've meant to be for a long time now, and I'm here to have fun and and just grateful for the opportunity. How you feel? Happy. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. What kind of music? I love you. This is so badass. Right? I love you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know they sold out on the store? Yeah, oh, really? And they had to yeah, restart? Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. You got about five minutes on this. So we had a bit of it. How far is that right? Uh, definitely not. There he is! Oh, what's up? What's up, bro? Hey, good, mate. What's going on? Hey, don't You're my tour guide. What's Get that? it right. What's it called? What, that's the uh, Millennium Park. Over to the right, we got Millennium Park. Yes. Go on. Over here, we got the big fuck off fountain. There's a fucking hair problem. Come on, what are you doing? All us Aussies, uh, Rob, Megan, and myself. I just went and did a photo shoot. What, what am I wearing? I have to put the old socks down. Nothing. <laughs> Except the fighting shorts. We're going let's to be get, cool. Let's do this. Fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm gonna get hypothermia before f Saturday. You wanna turn this way for me? It's fucking freezing. My nipples are hard as. Ty, just moving this way, one inch, mate. Just there. Yep. Looking right here for me, guys. Here we go. Hands on hips for me, Ty. I think it's for the Aussie papers. Should be in these papers as well. <laughs> well, you need me. Uh, we are the friendly confines. We are Wrigley Field, one of the best places on earth, if not the best place on earth. Can I sniff it? Yeah. Ah, oh, it smells like it smells like winning. It's not bad. I don't think there's anything I could ever say that would describe. Like how it makes me feel, you know, to be able to walk in the regular, you know, I know a few of the ushers, you know, like you see regular familiar faces and everybody's awesome. It sounds kind of corny, but you know, it's just an extended family. Oh, we're getting up. We're getting up. Come on. We're getting up. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if I ever get back for its root. Root, root for the coffee. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at